Hey folks, so today we are going to get started with a fun activity that I like to do um, in the beginning of the next body system unit. Uh, it's obviously a little bit of a modified version of it because we're doing it from home. Um, but before we get started with that, I want to make sure that you go to your distance learning checklist. Uh, remember, hopefully you have it saved someplace safe. It's easy to get to. Mine is in my Corona Files folder. Um, and you're going to add, this will be activity number 12. And we are going to call it Optical Illusions Activity. And for this, you're going to watch the video as well as complete the Google form. If I could spell, that would make life a lot easier. Okay. Okay, folks, so today we are going to do one of my favorite classroom activities. Um, it's a slightly modified version, obviously, of what I would normally do in the classroom because I can't do it in the classroom. Um, but it is usually a lot of fun. It's how I usually start the next um, body system. So I figured I'll try to start it the same way. So today we're going to look at a whole bunch of optical illusions. Um, I'm going to run through the PowerPoint in the video. And as I go through, I'm going to ask that you pause the video, come over to this Google form I've attached to this activity, and fill in your answers as we go. I am going to do my best as we look at the optical, optical illusions to not give away too much information. Um, I want to see what you think. I want to see what you're seeing the first time you look at it. Um, but I have gone through this um, Google form, and once you submit it, do 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 all the way at the bottom, you will get uh, be able to go back through it and get some feedback about uh, it's kind of like how you did, quote unquote. Obviously, I'm not going to grade you on how well you can see optical illusions, but I did put feedback for each thing. So in the PowerPoint, there are um, numbered slides, just like you normally would see in a PowerPoint. So the questions go along with which slide number. So I'll keep going as we go through the video of the slides. I will try to remind you this is slide two. So there are two questions for slide two, um, slide three, four, five, six, seven, and so on. So you can see that they're a little bit different. Um, each kind of question, they're each worth one point, um, except the very first one. And then there are a couple at the end as well. Okay, so let's get going here. So we have optical illusions, obviously more than meets the eye. And you can see right here in the bottom corner, it tells you that it's slide number one. So I'll keep moving the mouse around to make sure that that little bar comes up so that you can see uh, which slide number you're on and keep track. So slide number two. Uh, the first question for slide number two is, what is the difference between seeing and perceiving? So take a moment to think about that. You can pause the video and answer it in the form. The second question for slide two is, what are you seeing? What do you see in this picture? Okay, so go ahead and write down what you see. What is this a picture of? It seems pretty obvious. Put number two, or slide number two, the second question is, what are you seeing? Slide number three says, try to count the number of black dots in the image. So go ahead and try to count the black dots. Um, you may or may not want to pause it, although you probably can pause it. Pause the video and go over to the Google form and fill in the question for slide number three. How many black dots do you see? Slide number four. Are the lines below straight or curved? So again, oops, then you're going to go over to your Google form. Pause the video. Slide four question. Are they straight or curved? This will be slide number five. There's no question written on this slide. The question in your Google form says, is the spiral, this circle here in the center, is that going away from you, as like into the computer screen, or is it coming towards you out of the computer screen? Um, so away from you or towards you are some choices for slide number five. So go ahead and pause. Go over to the form, answer that question. Slide number six, look carefully at the center circles on both the left and the right, which circle is bigger? Again, slide number six, circle on the left or the circle on the right, which circle is bigger? 
No, slide number seven again. Pause it when you're ready to go over to your form and answer the question. How many legs does the elephant have? So you're going to count the legs that the elephant has. Slide number eight. What do you see? Simple, short answer. Tell me what you see here. Slide number nine. Again, simple, short answer. Slide number nine. Tell me what you see here. Slide number 10, same as eight and nine. Tell me what you see, simple short answer. Again, just keep pausing the video as you need to. If you wanna look at it longer than the video is letting you, that's fine too. Keep the video paused as long as you'd like and then answer in that Google form. Slide number 11, which vertical line is longer? Slide number 11. Which vertical line? Vertical means this way, up and down. These are the sort they're sort of horizontal. Horizontal would really be, need to be straight, but these are the vertical ones. This one here and this one here. So is it the one on the left or is it the one on the right? Number 12. Are the purple lines parallel or curved? Go ahead into your Google form, pause the video, and answer. Are the purple lines parallel or curved? Slide number 13, do the solid lines seem to bend? So these solid lines here is what we're talking about. One, two, three, and four. This one that looks kind of like a square. Do those solid lines bend? Yes or no? Slide 14, simple, straightforward, short answer. Slide 14 just says, what do you see? Tell me what you see. Slide 15, look at the red lines. Do they appear wavy? So are they wavy? Yes or no? It's these lines here, the ones that are going through the grid. Slide 15, pause the video. Do they appear wavy? Yes or no? Slide 16, simple, straightforward. What do you see? Pause the video, go over to your Google form. Tell me what you see. Which black rectangle is bigger? Okay, so is it the one in the front or the one in the back? Slide 17, which black rectangle is bigger? Is it this one up front or is it that one in the back? Slide 18, again, when you're ready, pause it and you can move on over to your Google form. This one says, which man is the tallest? The man in the front, the man in the middle, or the man in the back. Which of those three men is the tallest? This one you don't have a question for, but I love this one because I think it's so cool. So if you look at this picture, this is slide 19, but you'll notice in your Google form there is no question for this one. Slide 19 says, look at this image. And clearly you see you have like a duck of some sort the duck's fur and the duck's legs and uh, you know the feet and standing on like a little island of some sort you got some water here some birds in the sky and the duck seems to be having like a little human hanging out of the monstrous duck's mouth that's not the optical illusion the optical illusion is when you turn this picture upside down now what do you see so if you take a moment to look at it, and again, there's no question for this one, so I'm going to kind of give it to you, but take a moment to look at it. Pause the video if you want to look at it longer, and then I will give you my spoiler alert. So the spoiler is here that when you flip the picture upside down, now it's a guy in a canoe. It looks like a guy wearing a hat. Here's his mustache and his hand. Uh, and he's in a canoe and he's fishing a jumbo fish, which is what this guy looks like, a fish with his fin. And here's the, another grassy island, but instead of legs, these look like trees now. And again, instead of this being the sky, this is now the water with some waves in it. 
And this part that was the water up here now looks kind of like clouds. Um, this one I didn't do because I just don't think it's easy to do on the computer. I have printed versions of this one, but certainly if you would like to pause the video here and see if you can figure out which square is darker. This is not a question on your Google form. Is it square A or square B? If you can figure that out, you can make a comment on the activity um, and I will give you some feedback on it if you would like. Uh, this one also does not have a question with it, but it's a very cool one. Uh, it is called the Lilac Chaser. So if you follow the flash, round and round you go. Actually, I'm lying. Don't do that. If you stare at the plus sign in the center, stare at the plus sign. Just keep staring at the plus sign. Staring at the plus sign. I think right now you have to keep the video going so you can't pause the video. Look at what you're seeing. And again, if you want to make a comment um, in Google Classroom on the activity, make, a, make an individual comment, not a class comment, because you would give it away for other people. But you should see something kind of cool. Again, I don't want to give too much away. I'll be quiet for a second and let it just roll through. Again, don't forget to keep staring at the plus sign. Don't follow the flash. Okay. So what you probably experience there is something that we call the after image. At the last little part there, it says, why is the dot green? The after image, if you look, think about what color those circles were, the circles were about this purpley color, right? The original circles in the lilac chaser. So the color that is directly across from it in the color wheel, that's what we call the after image. Okay, so that's one of those things where you stare at something and then you can look at something and you can see the image kind of floating in your eyes. It's pretty cool. So for example, if you look and stare at this, and you can pause this one, but if you stare at this image, and again, this one is not on your Google form, this is just for fun, you stare at this image, you could predict what color it will be in the after color of this image. If you are, um, if you're gonna do it, I, I would have you pause the video, stare at the image for 30 seconds straight. Don't move your eyes around. Just pick a spot and stare at it for 30 seconds. Have someone time it or you can run your timer or whatever. And then when you are ready, when you're done with that, click play again. So after the 30 seconds, if you've done it correctly, you've done it quickly enough, on this white screen now, you should see like a normal American flag. You should see red, white, and blue American flag, even though really you're just looking at a white screen. On my computer screen right now that I'm recording is just a white screen. But you're seeing what we call the after image. So after you've stared at that blue and yellow and black flag for so long, your um, eyes have what we call the after image sort of imprinted on it for a little bit. Okay, here's another one. This one you have to stare at the four dots here in the center. Again, don't be moving your eyes around. Stare at the four dots in the center for 30 seconds. If you're going to do this, go ahead and pause the video. Stare at it for 30 seconds. Okay, now that the 30 seconds are up, what do you see? And again, I didn't do this one in your Google form, but blink your eyes a whole bunch of times. Sometimes that makes this one show up a little bit better. This one's a little harder to see. But if you blink a whole bunch of times in a row, a lot of times you can see it even better. Leave me a class com or an uh, individual comment, not a class comment. Leave me an individual comment on Google Classroom. Or you can send me an email if you want. Tell me what you saw. Okay, so I'm going to skip through some the rest of these here. We're going to skip right over to the essential questions. These are the last three questions on your Google Classroom or on your Google Form that you need to do for this activity. So the first one says, now what do you think about the difference between seeing and perceiving? That's the first question that I asked you to answer in the very beginning of this video. The second question is, what is fatigue? You can look that word up if you'd like. Maybe you just asked somebody they might know. Or maybe you know, who knows? And the third question is, what do you think happens when your eye cells get 
fatigued. Okay, so go ahead and take some time to answer those. Fill in the Google form. Um, in a couple more days, I do have like a ton more of these optical illusions in here, but I didn't think you needed to watch a three hour video on optical illusions. So in another couple of days after I've posted this, I will um, post the slide deck so you can see the rest of it, just, so you, just for fun. You can kind of look through the rest of it if you'd like. But you should have answers for slide 17 and 18. Those are the last ones. And then I jumped over to slide um, 28. Oh, this should say slide 28 too. I'll edit that before I post it. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this. This one's just for fun, but go ahead and submit your answers. I love to see how, how your brain is processing these images and what you're seeing and what you're thinking. Um, and if you want to tell me what, if you do it with a family member or you can make a family member watch the video then too, if you want to do that, tell me what they said and how they, how they thought about it too. Cause it's sometimes it's funny to compare different people's perspectives. Hope all is well. Talk to you all soon.